When a virus invades human cells, sometimes they'll actually commit suicide rather than be taken over by the virus. It's a process called necroptosis. Viruses, of course, when they infect cells, they, uh, they take over the machinery of a cell and they, uh, they replicate themselves. They, they use um, the, the, the cell as a sort of factory to make more viruses. And so one of the, the sort of extreme types of defense that a cell can employ is actually to kill itself, to commit suicide. The infected cell does this by triggering a chemical reaction that causes it to die, while also releasing signals for infection-fighting immune cells to come join the fight. In a mouse study, Andrew Oberst and other UW Medicine researchers looked at how brain cells use necroptosis to fight viral infections, like West Nile. West Nile virus is, of course, a, a very important uh, viral infection. It, it, uh, it attacks the central nervous system, the brain. And so we wanted to understand better uh, whether this sort of uh, type of defense, this defensive strategy of cell suicide, might also be at play when uh, a virus is attacking the central nervous system. The researchers' findings were surprising. We found that in neurons, unexpectedly, even if we really tried to make them die by this, uh, by this pathway, they just wouldn't die. What I think this implies is that, that neurons maybe uh, could be too important to die. You don't want to, uh, to eliminate a neuron by, by cell suicide. You'd much rather try to figure out a way to let that neuron uh, call in a professional immune cell to deal with the problem and let the neuron survive. The research could help develop new ways to treat brain infections and improve our understanding of the role of cell suicide in neurodegenerative diseases such as ALS, often called Lou Gehrig's disease. From the newsroom at UW Medicine in Seattle, this is Brian Donahue.